This is question number 14 in the ACT math exam I've been working through and this one is going to ask you a little bit about your knowledge of geometry. So we're getting into a section of the test where they really are going to ask you for more of your content knowledge in math. So the last question asked you about the midpoint formula and this question is going to ask you about some of the fundamental theorems of geometry. So let's get started. In the plane below, shown in the polygon ABCD below, the line QR intersects lines AD and BC of the polygon, forming eight angles. Which of the following statements, when true, cannot always be used to prove that lines AD and BC are parallel? All right, so this question is talking about you know this polygon here with its you know four vert uh, vertices, and then this line QR that runs through the polygon. And this line QR that runs through it is called a transversal. So I'll write, I'll just write that down if I can get my pen working here. So that's a transversal. And a transversal, transversal, a transversal is a line that intersects two other lines at two separate points. So uh, transversals can be used to prove uh, lines parallel. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that uh, that they can do that. So they're saying, so the question is, which of the following statements, when true, cannot always be used to prove that lines AD and BC are parallel? So we're wondering, you know, is AD and BC, are those parallel? Well, let's go through, we really have to go through each of these statements uh, because we have to eliminate. So let's start at the bottom. So I've already circled lines, or uh, sorry, angles four and five. So it says, uh, angle 4 is congruent to angle 5. So which of the following statements are saying, uh, you know, cannot be used to prove these uh, two lines parallel? Well, 4 and 5, angles 4 and 5, could be used to prove AD and BC parallel because uh, they uh, are part of a theorem, which I'm going to uh, pull up down here, called alternate interior angles. Okay, so the alternate interior angle theorem says that if two lines and a transversal form congruent alternate interior angles, then the two lines are parallel. So if 4 is congruent to, or angle 4 is congruent to angle 5, then these two lines would be parallel. So E is out. Okay. How about if we had angle 2 and angle 7 congruent? Uh, could that not be used to prove they're parallel? Well, actually, that they are part of the alternate exterior angles theorem, and that says if two lines and a transversal form congruent alternate exterior angles, then the two lines are parallel. Just as a reminder, congruent means equal, right? So D is out. D uh, says that uh, angles 2 and 7 can be, you know, are, are congruent, and we know that those two, if they are congruent, can be used to prove A, D, and B, C parallel. So let's look at C. All right, C says, uh, I'm just going to change colors here, uh, C says angle 1 is congruent to angle 8. Well, we're in the same position. Again, we have the alternate interior, or sorry, alternate exterior angles congruent, and so C is out. All right, well, what about if we have a uh, angle 1, I'll circle it with a different color, and uh, angle 7, okay? Well, B happens to be the answer. There is no theorem that uh, mentions, uh, I guess it would be exterior, just exterior angles, they're not alternating, they're just exterior angles. Those cannot always be used to prove that lines are parallel. So this is the answer. Let's look at A, though. A says, if what if 1 is equal to 5? Just so you know, angles 1 and 5 are called corresponding angles. And if you have corresponding angles that are congruent, if two lines in a transversal form congruent corresponding angles, then the two lines are parallel. So again, uh, A could be used to prove uh, AD and BC parallel. So therefore, B is the only one that doesn't work, and that is our answer.